Hey, what's going on everybody? Julian Schutze here on behalf of The Collective and I've got a little bit of a, a three-part series here about all of these clamshell gloves that I've been uh, I've been trying out for the last little while. We've got the Kvetten Zyphosuras, we've got the HF, I believe they're called the Black Knight, and then the uh, Superior Fencing ones as well. And we're going to be starting today with the Kvetten Zyphosuras. So a little bit of history with these gloves. My clubmate Tony Wang was selected to do some beta testing with the beta pair, which I also got to try. And it was by far the best clamshell glove that I have ever used. The thumb mobility was unbelievable. And just the overall maneuverability I had in those gloves versus the Spes heavies was, was unimaginable. And then some additional uh, improvements of protection. The thumbs on them were better, the wrist protection was better, the articulation in the uh, the first knuckles were better. Uh, wonderful, wonderful gloves. So that prompted me to immediately go out and get a uh, pre-order for them when they were first available. Uh, those pre-order pairs unfortunately had uh, material quality issues with the rivets. Uh, Kvetun immediately recognized the potential issue and were uh, immediately sending out new ones as soon as they could and I received them which is this pair. Uh, this pair lasted me I think about unfortunately around 12 sessions before some problems started occurring. The first one was you can see this is all taped up now but this uh, the padding in the thumb my thumb wore right through it and uh, produced a pretty large hole and it just it, I I don't know what happened it it went right through, so I, I wrapped it up in tape, and then about uh, maybe two matches later, I started noticing a uh, pretty massive uh, hole that was being generated right there uh, through the stitching of the palm, which just completely tore out. Um, so, <laughs> uh, uh, unfortunately for me, the material quality for these were just not acceptable. Uh, and it's unfortunate because the overall handling of these gloves were pretty decent. And uh, that's kind of the tail tail of these gloves. The, uh, the felt lining in here is quite thin. So when I was doing a lot of grip switching and I guess enough friction with the thumb, my thumb was able to just blast completely through it, which is quite unfortunate. And then, yeah, it just seems like the stitching in the palm here just completely tore open. Uh, and I don't, you know, I can't really tell you why. When I when I look at these, I don't see massive stitch lines that exploded. It looks like maybe there's a little bit of glue along in here. Honestly, I can't quite tell you how they're constructed. But unfortunately, yeah. So that's two pairs of gloves now that I've had from these where they had material quality issues. Uh, the first one was corrected by Kvetun, but then the second one. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, I don't know if anybody else is going to have this issue. I have a little bit of a hard time just admitting that maybe I have a lemon, a lemon pair, because I've had failures in two different areas, right? It was the material thickness of the thumb that wore completely through and the stitching here. If it was one or the other, you know, it's fairly easy to attribute it to some bad luck, but this is either uber bad luck or Maybe just the material selection is not the best at this point. To Kvetin's credit, uh, after I brought up this issue, I, I asked for a refund because I have the HF Armory gloves that I enjoy quite a bit. I also have some Pro Gauntlets to my disposal and they were pretty quick to just uh, agree to a refund. So. While I have issues with these gloves, obviously, uh, I have no issues with the customer service and the customer support. So if you do find yourself uh, with these gloves already and they blow out, I wouldn't be too worried because uh, so far, Kvetin has been quite good at taking care of you. As well as if you already have a pair on the way, uh, you know, again, I, I wouldn't worry too much about it. It's possible that I just had a badly constructed glove or, you know, even if there's a problem with yours, they'll take care of you. So I have no complaints in that regard. In terms of the actual handling of these, I mentioned a little bit that the beta pair that I got to try was phenomenal. And I actually found that the final release somehow regressed a little bit. Uh, 
I've had two times to try and break in the thumbs here with both the old gloves and these new ones. And overall, the thumb dexterity of these has degraded a fair bit since those original beta pairs. And to be honest, I can't even really figure out why. Um, so far, a lot of the construction seems to be roughly similar. They did change the thumb design. I, uh, I asked to put the original thumb design in my second pair. Uh, they did do it, once again showing some good customer service there, but that didn't really fix it. And um, one of the main issues with these is that even after you spend some time breaking it in, it is it is a little difficult to move the thumb around. And I find that the overall mobility of it was quite stifled and I didn't have the same level of control over my thumb as I did with the HF or even the SPES, to be honest. So while I did have issues with the thumb mobility, I wouldn't say it was bad. Uh, I'd say it was serviceable. I didn't feel, uh, especially after breaking it in a little bit, I didn't feel like I was completely stifled with my techniques, but it, it was a noticeable drop. One thing I will say about these that are absolutely excellent is the level of articulation they have in the plates here. Because of how many plates there are, the articulation in your fingers, you can actually get a full bend in the pinkies here that you normally sometimes can't get in other gloves without stretching the internal fabric. They often let you kind of cop around like this and then you have to push through the fabric a little bit just to get that extra little bit with your, uh, you know, the last little bits of your digits there. These ones allow you to just grip it fully uh, because of the articulation points here. And it felt really nice. Uh, being able to hold the sword was great. What I will say though, however, is because these are custom sized to you and they're so much lower profile than the Spes, is it's basically impossible to hold anything in a handshake grip with these. You are quite locked into the hammer grip. If you're doing long sword, that's not as much of an issue because you can kind of use the lower hand to kind of like really pull it into more of a handshake position. However, uh, for single handed swords, you're definitely, you're locked into hammer, which isn't necessarily ideal in a lot of systems. Um, because the overall profile of these are so much smaller, when since we're talking about one handed systems, uh, it, it is much easier to fit these in some kind of saber guard that you wouldn't necessarily be able to with the huge bulky spec heavies. So that is quite a bit of an additional uh, bonus point for these. I did mention that these are custom sized. Uh, it's, so far it seems to have worked quite well. What they do is they get you to send photos of you holding an object and measurements and all that. And I have no complaints about that. Both gloves feel good. They both fit my hands quite well. Uh, and I think that definitely is a big plus if you've got, you know, non-standard sized hands. If you have smaller hands or larger hands, uh, I, being able to have that assured degree of this will fit me, I think is extremely valuable. I know quite a few people with very small hands, which even the spec extra small doesn't fit them. But even uh, my larges here, uh, they, they loved. They loved how, uh, how it felt in the hand overall. So definitely the custom sizing is a huge perk to this. So I guess to kind of give a little wrap up to these, what do I think? Well, uh, based off of the pairs that I have, I just can't recommend them. I've had two pairs and both of them had material quality issues that led to failures, catastrophic failures. Uh, one of them, a couple plates are missing because of the popped out rivets. And this one I won't be able to use unless I re-sew everything and I have to, you know, tape them. And with these specifically, I've used these maybe 10, 12 times. And that's just not something that I can recommend or find acceptable. We have someone in our club whose his are definitely lasting much longer. So bonus points. I don't know if mine are just... A lemon, mine was uh, poorly constructed by accident, or, you know, just, I don't know, all the stars aligned where I had very thin fabric, bad stitching, and it all just exploded on me. If you do have a pair that does not suffer material quality issues, I think these are excellent. Really, the biggest drawback I have with these is that the thumb mobility isn't where I would like them to be, as well as the forced hammer grip. 
Uh, but you know, that being said, the biggest perks to me is the extra finger articulation in the first knuckles, as well as how much smaller profile these are than spets. When you're wearing those spets gauntlets and you have your long sword, going across positions is really hard because they're basically planets on your hands, right? These ones I found I had quite a bit of maneuverability in terms of the spacing between my hands and it really wasn't an issue. So uh, if you have a good pair, then these are excellent. However, because of the material quality issues I had, I just personally cannot recommend these, unfortunately. Well, thanks for watching my quick little recap or review of the Kvetan Cyphosuras. Uh, as I mentioned before, this is gonna be a little three-part series. I have right here up next, the uh, Superior Fencing Clamshell Gloves. Make sure to stay tuned for that and we'll catch you later.